Let's see if you can solve this classic egg drop puzzle once asked by Microsoft during an interview. You are given a 100-floor building starting from the first floor and all the way up to 100. Then you are given two identical eggs, and you need to figure out the highest floor from which you can drop an egg without breaking it. Your goal is to use the fewest number of drops possible in the worst case. We are allowed to make a few assumptions. If an egg survives a fall, it can be reused. If it breaks, it's gone forever and cannot be used again. Then, if one egg breaks at a certain floor, it would also break from any floor above it. And if it survives a fall, it would survive from any floor below that, too. Let's first try the simplest way, which is the brute force method. You take the first egg and start dropping it from the first floor, then second floor, then third, and so on, going up one floor at a time until it breaks. As soon as it breaks, you then have your answer. But what's the problem? The problem is with the number of drops. In the worst case, the first egg might not break until the 100th floor. So you'd need up to 100 drops. That's way too many. This method is slow, wasteful, and not clever at all. Great. Now, let's step up from brute force and try to be a little smarter by using the idea behind binary search. Instead of going one floor at a time, suppose we try to cut the problem in half. So we first drop the egg from the 50th floor. If it breaks, we know the breaking point is somewhere between floor 1 and floor 49. If it doesn't break, then we know it lies somewhere between floor 51 and floor 100. Now, we drop again in the middle of the remaining range, like floor 75, and keep repeating. This way, we keep having the search space, just like we search a number in a binary search method. Sounds better, right? And yes, it is better than brute force. But there's a catch. We only have two eggs. If the first egg breaks early, say, on the very first drop, then we're stuck. We now have to do a linear search or a brute force search with the second egg one floor at a time in that range. So while binary search reduces the number of initial drops, it fails badly when the first egg breaks too soon. The worst case number of drops is 50, which is still very high. So again, we ask, can we reduce the number of drops even further? And the answer is yes. Here's the most clever idea. Suppose you first drop the egg from some floor X. If it breaks, we try the remaining x minus 1 floors one by one. So, in the worst case, we make x trials. Don't worry, we will soon find this value of x. If the egg doesn't break, we next jump x minus 1 floors. That's because we already used up one drop, and we want to make sure the total number of drops never goes beyond x. So each new jump is one floor less than the previous. So now the floor that we are going to try is x plus x minus 1. If the egg breaks here, we only need to check the floors between the previous safe floor and this one. That is, x minus 1 more drops at most. If it doesn't break, we again move up by x minus 2 floors next, because now we've already used 2 drops, and we still want to keep the total number of drops within x. So now we are at floor x plus x minus 1 plus x minus 2. This way, in each step, the jump you take becomes one less than before. The idea is that no matter where the egg breaks, the total number of drops in the worst case stays the same. So now the main question is, what value of x should we start with? It should be the smallest number such that the sum of x plus x minus 1 plus x minus 2, and so on down to 1 is at least 100, because there are 100 floors. Now wait a minute. We know that this sum can be simplified to x times x plus 1 divided by 2, and it must be greater than or equal to 100. This means x times x plus 1 is greater than or equal to 200. Now look. 
These are all values of x times x plus 1. Like a table of consecutive numbers multiplied, we can see that for x equals 13, 13 times 14 is 182, which is less than 200. But for x equals 14, we get 14 times 15, which is 210. That's more than 200. So yes, this means x equals 14 is the minimum value we need. So we now know, if we follow this method and start from floor 14, the worst case will need only 14 drops at most. Then go to floor 27, which is 14 plus 13. Then 39, which is 27 plus 12. Then next is 50. Then 60. 69. 77. 84. 90. 95. 99. And finally, 100. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Also, you can support my channel by joining our community and becoming a member. So good.